Planet. I'm live. Yay. Hello. Welcome back to my live stream. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Nobody's here yet. That's okay. Bert's here though. Bert's here. And if you're watching the replay, boy oh boy, don't I appreciate you. So happy that you're here. Yeah. So basically, as I put my little community post, I've had a busy week this week. My mom came to visit, which was amazing. But, you know, I didn't really have time to do a ton of filming or anything. And then today I met up with a friend that I haven't seen since high school who happened to be in the city today. So I uh, did that instead of filming or anything. So yeah, that's why we're going live. I thought it'd be fun. You know, I'm clearly already wearing some makeup. I might put some more makeup on. I don't know. I guess we'll just see how things go here. Also, my radiator is screaming. So sorry if you can hear that. Hi, Dragon Ball 101, my first friend in the live stream. So happy that you're here. Yeah, I was just chatting about how I <laughs> you can see Bert trying to get under the blankets. He's so funny. His new favorite thing to do is to try to like bury himself under the blankets. I always get worried that he's going to have trouble breathing under there, but he clearly does fine. Drinking an Olipop, got a little cherry vanilla going on here today. These have caffeine in them, which I only found out recently. They're prebiotic sodas, so I knew they were like a healthy soda. I just like them because they're very tasty, um, but they do keep me regular as well. So if you're looking for something like that. The cherry vanilla is pretty good. It's not my favorite. My favorite one from Olipop, honestly, grape. Don't sleep on grape soda. It's very good. I also like the cream soda. It doesn't taste like cream soda. It tastes like chocolate cake to me, but hey, nothing wrong with drinking chocolate cake, but I grabbed the cherry vanilla today. I don't know why. It was cute. It's cute. You know, I like the poppies too. Poppies, another prebiotic soda. They have a really good cola. It tastes just like a Coke. So if you're someone who's trying to give up soda, but you like the flavor of Coke. Poppy's Cola is pretty good. Olipop does a vintage cola. It's okay. It definitely tastes like very stevia-ish to me, but mm, it's not bad. Anyway, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know what I want to do here. If anyone, my whole thing with this live stream today, like I said, I'm already wearing a little bit of makeup. I could definitely put some more on but, oh my gosh, hi, Angelic Venom. I'm so happy that you're here and we're able to catch the live stream. Yes, I was just saying my idea behind the live stream today. I thought it would be cool if you guys have anything you have been dying to see me swatch. Like, you know, any of the about face, matte fluid eye paints, any of the glisten liners, Gavisi liners or anything, lipstick shades. If you have, I can show you some examples too and you can tell me what you want to see. Hi, LT. I'm so happy you're here too. Oh my gosh. Hi. I know it's been a while since I did a live stream, but they are so much fun. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool. I could swatch anything that you guys want to see. I would love to swatch it for you. Eyeshadow palettes too. I don't know. Ask me. I got some stuff from, I have the new Odin's Eye palettes. I meant to make a video with that. But honestly, the thing with Odin's Eye is, and like nothing against them for this, but they tend to, I'm on their PR list, which cool as hell. Love that. But they tend to send the launches so much earlier than the actual launch. So I sometimes forget about the palettes by the time they launch. But I do have all of the new collabs the one with Lauren May Beauty makeup just for fun and Batty Bean so let me know if you want to see any swatches from that or anything I can also just put some makeup on I did a little quick beat I did like very very quick beat I don't have any face makeup on or anything I did essentially my clean girl makeup look that I posted in that video earlier this week so I have the pixie eyeshadow on the lush mascara but to let everybody at Chelsea Market today know that I am the main character I did add. Some rhinestones, you know, draw a little attention, a little sparkle to my eyes. So yeah, should I put a headband on? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put a headband on. Put my grimy versed headband on. And yeah, maybe I'll put a little graphic liner on. I don't know. Feels weird to do your makeup after you've already been outside. I'm like, am I just like solidifying germs onto my face? I don't know. Ooh, LT says I did a big old graphic fairy look on half my face this morning. I love that. That's awesome. I love anything fairy inspired. Super into the Winx Club right now. Although you guys, I don't know if you guys are into the Winx Club, but I finally got to season five and I didn't realize that season five is when Nickelodeon took over the Winx Club and they aimed it towards a much younger audience. And now I'm not enjoying it anymore, which is such a bummer. It just feels, it just like feels totally different now. I don't know. It doesn't feel the same. 
Oh my gosh. Ooh, Angelic Venom says, I was so excited today. I found somewhere in the UK selling the Bendy Avocado Concealer. Oh no, they didn't have your shade. Oh, that stinks. I feel like, you know, I don't know why they're discontinuing that concealer. It's a really good concealer. Ooh, Dragon Ball asks, what's a half magic beauty that I love? Well, I'm really into their grippy brow right now. I know I mentioned that in my video on Monday. Their new brow gel is so freaking good. It's got like a cool dual ended thing going on where one side has like big spaces between the brush. So you can like really go and fluff the product on. But then the other side is really densely packed. So you can use that to flatten them down. And it's so long wearing. Oh my gosh, it wears so long. I love that about it. I also really love their face gems. I was wearing some of these yesterday. They're neon face gems. You can see I put them back on the sheet after I've used them. So I really, really like their face gems. Their holographic ones are also really good too. Ooh, what about single shadows? Any favorites? Oh my gosh, that's a good question. Let's pull out my little single shadow drawer here. Um, I tend to, I, I don't know if you're referring to specifically like indie single shadows. I need to get like a good empty palette to put them all into. But one single shadow that I reach for a lot is from Carla Cosmetics. It is one of their pressed opal multi-chromes. I know I show a lot on my channel, the loose opal multi-chromes from Carla Cosmetics, but I really like this single pressed one too. It's the shade Beauty Sleep and it's just like so beautiful. I used it in my lightning graphic liner look that I did on Instagram last week and I referred to this as lightning in an eyeshadow because it really is like lightning in an eyeshadow. I don't know how well you can see it. It looks like very white but that's just because it's so reflective. Maybe I can show it better in a mirror. Sometimes you know you do the little mirror trick yeah, I feel like you can kind of see it better that way. There you go. That's giving you a little shiftiness. It's got like a beautiful orange to gold to green shift on it. It's just really, really pretty. I love all of the Carla Cosmetics multi-chromes that I've tried. They're so cool. They have such a cool iridescence to them. What's another one I really like? I have the shade Nightfall is okay, but there's one that's more like blue. Yes, I found it. I found it. I found it. The shade insomnia this is a loose multi-chrome i don't know if they have all of these available on press i will be i kind of prefer the press just because it's a little easier to work with but let me see if i can get some on my finger here again this is the shade insomnia okay that didn't do much i try to shake a little onto my finger how do you swatch a loose multi-chrome it's certainly not easy i'll tell you that but let me see. Okay, I got a little bit more on here. These are so cool because they almost look like neon. Like it's, yeah, I know that this is not technically a neon color. It's a multi-chrome, but it just gives, dang it, are you not going to be able to see it? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's got like a very purple to blue thing going on. You know, it might help. You know, it might help. I have my shade like mostly closed here. Maybe we'll get a little more light going on here. Yeah, it's got like this almost like northern lights sort of effect to it where it's just like this gorgeous, like it's you see nothing and then you see like pure purple. It's really, really pretty. Ooh, okay. Angelic Venom asked, do you have any other holy grails from About Face other than the eye paints? I feel like I remember a blush you loved. Yes, I do. Thank you for reminding me. I really love their Cheek Freak blushes. Specifically, my favorite shade is the shade Score, which is this really cool purple blush, but you can almost see in the pan that it looks like pink around the sides here and then purple in the middle. You know what? I'm not wearing any blush. Let's put it on because it's such a pretty shade. Make sure my brush is clean, my little flat top kabuki brush. And I'll just put a little bit on. I really like it because it's a cream blush that has more of like a matte finish, whereas I feel like most of your cream blushes give really like dewy skin. And you know, I love dewy skin, but I just kind of appreciate that this one gives another option here. And you know, it's not like mattifying at all. Like I wouldn't say this is like a mattifying, you know, like blurring blush or anything, but like it doesn't make you look matte and flat. I don't think it's 
you know, only for oily skin. I have super dry skin and this doesn't make me feel dry out. I feel like I always have to give that disclaimer when I say a product is matte because I don't tend to like matte things on my dry skin, but it just has, you know, it's not dewy. It's just like a nice natural finish. I just put so much of it on, but I don't care. It's just really, really pretty. I love this shade. I have a couple other shades too. I can show you them. That's just score is like my most used shade of theirs. But where's my other one? I got, yeah. So they just sent me another one. This is the shade, which is also really pretty. This is the shade Smash. Pretty sure this is the one I wore on Valentine's Day. Yeah, Smash is like this really pretty kind of brick red. And it looks like very bold and intimidating. But I'm going to try to show you that you can really blend it out to be more subtle if you have a fair skin tone like I do but I think the shade smash would look smash smash yeah the shade smash would look gorgeous on a deeper skin tone and then I also have the shade laid which is just you know kind of like a nice neutral I guess more of like a warm tone pink shade where can I put that put it right here yeah, I guess it's kind of more of like a peachy pink laid is like definitely a very like everyday can wear it with anything blush but their Cheek Freak blush formula, so freaking good. Oh my gosh, I love it. I need to now grab an antibacterial wipe so I can make more room for swatching. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Ooh, what's, what is everybody else asking? I do love purples, LT, you know me, I love purples, but isn't this kind of cool how it like doesn't, like it doesn't look like straight up purple. It's just giving like a, a purpley pink vibe. I think you know, it might look different on multiple undertones. I have cool undertones, so I feel like it, it like, works really well on my skin. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, do you have any recommendations for pretty powder drugstore? I'm sorry, I'm not positive what you're asking, um, but I would love to tell you. If you Are you asking for drugstore powder recommendations? Um, oh, Angelic Venom. I didn't realize that. Are you saying about faces available on Beauty Bay now? That's huge, if true. Oh my gosh. That's I love when things are available on Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay's a good retailer. At least I've I've had good experiences ordering from Beauty Bay. I know I hear different things from different people, but I appreciate that Beauty Bay ships to so many different countries, you know. Because I hear a lot of people all recommend certain products and they're like, yeah, well, if the shipping weren't a million dollars. And I get it because sometimes I'll look at products that are sold from like Canada or the UK or something. And it's like shipping $30. And I'm like, whoa, never mind. No thanks. Like shipping is wild, especially some of you. I know live in countries that have to pay duties. Like Canada has to pay like duties on products, which is just like, ugh. Such a bummer, but they have better health care than us. So I guess you get, it's a bit of a give and take. <laughs> um, ooh, Dragon Ball asks, favorite hair product for your curls? Oh my gosh. I'll go get it. Stay right here. Nobody, nobody move. I'll go get it. <laughs> I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay, I'm going to give you two. These are my two favorites, all right? So I do a leave-in conditioner when I get out of the shower. But then after that, my styling products. First one is the Curlsmith Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. So this is like, this has like, you know, a moussey consistency to it. Like a very light foam consistency. And what I do is, it smells really good too. <laughs> I'll just rub that into my hands. What I do is I kind of like, what do you call it? I was going to say I fork it through my hair. I don't think that's the right phrasing, but I kind of just like comb it through my hair. And then I make sure to scrunch it onto my roots because it definitely gives you some volume, but it's very lightweight. So it doesn't add like a ton of like, you know, it doesn't weigh down my hair because I have pretty fine hair. And then for my hold, I go in with the R and Co Twister Curl Primer. And yeah, this is basically, I'll show you the texture of this too. It's kind of like, you know, it's like a cross between a gel and a cream, I would say. Like it doesn't feel as sticky as a gel. It's got a very light consistency. My hairdresser recommended this for my hair type because she says it was lightweight enough that it's not going to weigh my hair down, but it's got enough hold that it'll give me some shape to my curls. And then I go in with a Denman brush and I style it that way and I scrunch and then I diffuse it with my Conair Infinity Pro hair dryer. 
now I have gel <laughs> for my hands. That's okay. I got a paper towel right there. Thank you for asking about my curly hair product. Should I make a video about curly hair? I don't know. I always feel like I don't know enough, but I also like have figured a lot out through following a lot of curly hair influencers. So I could definitely make a video on my curly hair routine if that's something you wanted to see. Thanks for reminding everybody to hit the like button, LT. You're too sweet. If y'all could give this stream a like, that would be super sweet. <laughs> I don't know where to put my hair products. I'll put them on the ground for now. Sorry if you can hear my radiator shaking. It's, you know, it's that weird time of year where my radiator just goes on and off. I mention this all the time, but I live in a really old building. So in New York City, usually people describe the apartment buildings as like pre-war or modern. So I don't, I'm not sure which war <laughs> they're referring to. It's either World War I or World War II. I'm pretty sure they mean World War II, but I live in a pre-war building, which all of this to say is old as heck, man. It's a really old building. My radiator looks like this. I don't know if any of you live in an apartment or a home that has like really old radiators looking like that. I also have a hot pole in my apartment, that's where the little noise is coming from. The little shaking noise is from the water going in to the hot pole. So <laughs> that's what it is. Hi, Puzzleton. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad that you guys could come hang out with me today. I, I'm like, should I, I feel like I need to put some more makeup on now. Now I have like a cute purple blush going on. I might need to put some purple on my eyes. Do you guys have any liner shades you've been curious about you want to see I would love to show you I also have all of the half magic blushes I don't know if you're curious about the half magic beauty blushes I've been really liking their cheek fluff formula it also comes in this really cool like compostable packaging which is so fun I have New York City recently introduce compost bins for all of the apartments which is so cool because before it was like you had to like go to a big, you had to like go to a specific place to bring your composting stuff. Whereas now it's like in all the buildings. Like I go down and my trash rooms in the basement and now there's like a compost bin in there. So when I finish these, then I can put the little compostable things in there, which is so freaking cool. Thanks. Puzzleton likes my earrings. Thank you. They're from Shop Kike. They're little flower disco balls. Aren't they so fun? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Hi, Sarah. You're a new subscriber. I'm so excited to have you here. And you got your first package with some liners today. Heck yeah. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh. My favorite packages to get in the mail are the ones that have eyeliner in them. It just feels like Christmas. I absolutely love it. I'm really excited. Glisten came out with Glisten Cosmetics, who makes my favorite water activated liners, launched some colorful mascaras today which I'm so excited about. I get most of their new launches in PR. I'm not sure if I'm getting this one, but if I don't, I'll buy some because they look really cool. I'm having like a very big colorful mascara era right now, but I don't have that many formulas that I like other than I actually currently have all of my mascaras in a makeup bag because I was thinking about making a video, like rating a bunch of them because I try so many mascaras. But the only ones that I really like a lot are the, I have the About Face Mascara, Edge of the Earth, which is this gorgeous teal mascara and comes with this phenomenal brush. I like this one. It does transfer on me a little bit, but I don't powder my under eyes. So I have a feeling if I powdered them, it would wear better. And then ColourPop came out with some colorful mascaras, which I was so excited about when they first launched them because I was like, this is amazing. Colorful mascaras at an affordable price point but I have very mixed feelings on them because the purple one, I really like. I think the formula works well. You know, it's not the most volumizing and lengthening, but it is really pigmented and it does work well on my dark lashes because I have very dark hair. So sometimes colorful mascaras don't actually work. But then some of the other shades they sent me just showed up dry and clumpy and chunky. And I spoke to a, a couple of my other friends who are content creators who also received them in PR, and they said the same thing. Like the blue ones, a little better, but not much. I did try putting some Duraline in these to try to revive them, and it just didn't work. Usually if something like a mascara is drying out a little bit, I can hit it with some Duraline and re it, but that did not work on these ColourPop ones, which is such a bummer. And then I also have a colorful mascara. Well, I have a 
Color Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics in their Liquid Lash Extensions. It's the shade NOLA. This one is really subtle. If you're not into like a super, super bold lash, this is really pretty. I will say when I wear this one inside, I don't really notice my lashes looking a different color, but I have worn this before and then like gone outside and my boyfriend's been like, wow, your lashes look really blue. Like now that we're outside in the natural light. So it's kind of fun in that way. And the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions formula is really, really good. So I do appreciate that. Someone asked if I'll be reviewing the Spectra lashes. I want to. I totally want to try the new Glisten mascaras. I'm not sure if I'm getting them in PR. If I do, I'll absolutely review them. If I don't get them in PR, I'm probably going to order a few shades myself anyways, just because they look really good. Have you seen all of the swatches on their Instagram? My friend Holly did a bunch of swatches for them, like on uh, swatches, like on her eyes. Like she put them on her eyes and they look like they're a good formula. Like they look like they're actually lengthening and stuff too. So that sounds very interesting. Ooh, LT says, have you thought about getting the new Unearthly Cosmetics liner palette? I didn't know they came out with a liner palette. Let me go on Instagram and look. I think I follow Unearthly Cosmetics. Didn't they used to be called something else? What were they called before? I don't know. I know they're, it doesn't matter, but I definitely, okay, I follow them. I just, I don't see everyone's posts anymore. Ooh, not in the mood waterliner palette. That looks pretty. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even know they came out with this. Oh, and it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love that they're all split liners too. How much is that? $30? That's not bad at all, you guys. Oh my gosh, for 12 shades and they're all split pans. So you're technically getting 24 shades? Are you kidding? Wow. Oh, okay. They used to be called Alien Cosmetics. Thank you. I remember Alien Cosmetics. Um, I think I followed them when they were still Alien Cosmetics. Dang, I'm going to go like a few of their posts because I have not seen them popping up on my feed. That's a good tip for you guys. You probably already know this, but if you ever feel like you're not seeing somebody pop up on your Instagram feed... Instagram is weird with this pushing stuff out, but its algorithm confuses me. But usually if you go in and like like their last few posts, that'll let Instagram know that you want to see them more. So I just went and liked their last four posts. So hopefully I'll start seeing them pop up more because I don't want to miss out on water activated liner palette launches. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Thank you for letting me know about that. Let's see. Ooh, oh my gosh, Vixen Ghoul got delivered the Beauty Bay fr Skin Frozen Over after I mentioned it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love it. Did you use them? I have them both over here. Did you use the, the moisturizer, the clear moisturizer? Or did you use the under eye stick? They're both so cool. They're very cooling. I noticed on Skin Proud's website the other day that the, when I was looking for like a picture to put on my thumbnail of this, I noticed that the way Lottie, sorry, no, they're called Skin Proud. I'm pretty sure Lottie London owns them. That's why I keep saying it. But Skin Proud, the way they sh like showed this product, they had it like all mixed up and it looked like snow. And I was like, was I supposed to do that when I got this? Like, was I supposed to mix it up like snow? That's not how I use it. I don't know. You get the moisturizer. Cool. Yeah, I really like it. Are you? Oh, you used it frozen. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize. That's, I kind of want to try that. Was it like, it's too tough to use frozen? Yeah. That's fair. I, I could definitely see that being tough to use frozen, but I feel like it would feel nice and cooling. I actually got a skincare fridge for Christmas. My mother-in-law got me one. I haven't been using it that much just because I, I got to find a place to plug it in. But I have been very interested, interested in like using some makeup products cool. From what I hear, like I... You know, my skincare expertise is whatever James Welsh tells me on YouTube, but every time he talks about like, you know, five minute crafts doing like skincare hacks or people doing skincare hacks on TikTok and like using things frozen, he always like basically says that like it doesn't do anything extra for your skin. Like a lot of people think using cold skincare will tighten your pores and you know, do that. Whereas he says, like, that's not really what it's doing, at least not long term. Like, it might give you the temporary appearance of smaller pores, but our pores don't actually open and close. So it's more of, like, a temporary relief thing. But I just like a cooling sensation. Like, 
even when you use this at room temperature, it still feels cool. Like I leave this on my makeup desk all the time and it still feels cool. Same with this guy here. I can reapply this now because I don't have any concealer on. Oh, but I have my, dang it, I can't because I forgot I have my rhinestones. But this stick, I can even just feel touching it to my under eye, is cooling, which is just really nice. Yes, I love the Welsh Brothers. They are absolute treasures. I watched all of their videos. Did you guys watch their new video where they did the 1950s makeup and skincare? I love that series. I've watched all of them. I loved the Victorian era one. I loved the, what are they, the 1940s one. They're just all so fun. I love the Welsh twins so much. They are like, if I had to pick like a comfort YouTube channel, I don't know if you guys have these, but I have like certain channels that I watch like when I'm stressed and I need to like calm down. And that is the Welsh twins for me, like their joint channel together. I love watching them both separately, but if I'm trying to like de-stress, I will watch the Welsh twins channel together. Like last time I had to travel by myself and I was really anxious about it. I get a lot of travel anxiety just generally, even when I'm not traveling by myself. So when I was traveling by myself, my heart was like going like this all day long. And I watched a bunch of Welsh Twins videos and you just can't not laugh. You just can't not absolutely cackle at everything they say. And it just helped me calm down a lot. So I love it. Yes, and this is your weekly reminder. We're not the same person. I am very so funny. Absolutely hilarious. I love the series with them doing manly things too. Like when they try to make the chairs. Oh, it's just so funny. I wish that I had a twin to make funny videos with. I feel like Bert is my my Welsh twin, my my guy. He has burrowed himself under the bed. I don't know if you can see back there. That little lump there is him. He like climbed under the covers and buried himself <laughs> under the blanket. He's such a goof. I don't know why he does the things he does. This is very okay. I don't know. I thought I remembered liking this more. Maybe I liked the strawberry vanilla more. This is fine, though. It's got some caffeine in it, so that'll be good for me, you know? Yes. Oh, my gosh. You have comfort channels, too. How do you, I love my comfort channels. You know, I'm trying to think of some other ones. That's really, like, the Welsh twins for me. James Welsh is, like, I watch his videos a lot while I'm doing my nightly skincare routine. Do any of you guys do that too? When I'm doing my nighttime skincare routine, you know, it's a little involved. I don't have like a 12 step or anything, but I do have a double cleanse. So oil cleanser, regular cleanser. And depending on the day or what it is, I either go right, I go in with an active, so my BHA, and then I go in with my hyaluronic acid serum, and then I go in with my... Uh, moisturizer and my eye cream that can vary based on the day you know I'm either doing like that or if I'm doing a retinol it's so it's just involved and I really like watching James Walsh's videos well I do that I especially love his series when beauty turns ugly so fascinating oh my gosh like the one where he reviewed that um what was it? There was a sheet mask from that brand that uses a lot. Yes, too. The Yes, too sheet mask that was like this unicorn sheet mask that was burning people's faces. That was such an interesting video. Oh my gosh, those poor people. You know, it's so interesting to listen to him explain these things. And I love that he like reviews the legal cases too. I find it very fascinating. Oh my gosh, yes. Which I'm catching up. Oh my gosh, LT, I'm one of your comfort channels. I'm crying. Thank you so much. That is so kind. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Dragon Ball Z. You like Glow Recipe? I've heard that they're really good. I haven't tried anything from Glow Recipe, but I want to. I hear nothing but good things about them. I feel like I avoided Glow Recipe for a while because I knew that they used fragrance in some of their products. And here's the deal. I'm no longer anti-fragrance in skincare. I definitely used to be a few years ago when I was watching a lot of Hiram videos, which, you know, I haven't watched him in a while. So he might have different thoughts on things now, but he definitely used to like preach 
fragrance and skincare is bad, especially if you have sensitive skin. And I do have sensitive skin. Do I even though? I don't know. I feel like I've been brought up to think I have sensitive skin because I did have like some issues as a kid. Like I had eczema. I had fifth disease. I used to get, I have keratosis pilaris on my arms and like my legs still, but I used to have it like on my actual face too. So I, I definitely would say I have sensitive skin. So I would like totally avoid fragrance. But over the last like you know, maybe three or four months, I've been slowly trying some products that have some fragrance in them, you know, just like sprinkling them in here and there. Like my oil cleanser has a little bit of fragrance in it. And my regular cleanser has a little bit of fragrance in it. And lo and behold, it didn't break me out and nothing bad happened. So turns out I'm not as sensitive to fragrance as I thought I was. You know, I still don't like products that are like heavily perfumed, like, you know, especially in makeup. I'm like, why are you putting perfume in things? Like there's this um, K-Beauty product from this brand. I don't know if it's Misha or Mis Misha. I feel like it's Misha. It's their perfect cover BB cream. It's stunning. It's so, so beautiful, but it smells like it has straight up powdery perfume in it. And the smell does not go away. It gave me such a headache. Oh my gosh. If you watch my Stylevana video where I did a little Stylevana haul, they were very kind enough to send me some products. But this one I have not used since that video because it just smells so much. Oh, it's such a bummer. It's so beautiful. Ooh, everyone's saying good things about the Essence Dupe for the Watermelon Glow Drops for um, Glow Recipe. That's good to know. I feel like I saw something about that too but I haven't, um, I haven't used that yet. And oh no, Angelic Venom, you used the Yes To mask and it burnt your face. Oh my gosh, how awful. I, that was so strange. Yeah, it was this Yes To unicorn mask. It was very cute. Like the mask itself looked like a unicorn and it supposedly, I think it had like grapefruit in it and a bunch of fruit acids, which is just Weird why they would advise anyone to put fruit acids like right on your face and to hold them on there. You know, I feel like it's one thing to go in with the BHA exfoliant and to just like brush it over your face quickly and then immediately follow up with a moisturizer. But it's another thing to like hold that on your face. And especially I feel like that was aimed towards kids too, which is just sad um, because some kids did get their faces burned. Um Ooh, okay. High Melancholic Ghost. They say, I recommend getting them, I assume, Glow Recipe during the Sephora sale. So it's not as pricey. I love so many of their products, especially the watermelon toner. Ooh, okay. That's good to know. I always forget. The Sephora sale comes up and I get so overwhelmed and I just feel like so much pressure to buy something. So I usually end up buying nothing, but I will have to remember that for Glow Recipe. Ooh, and Angelica. I, I don't want to say, can you... I don't want to say your name wrong. I don't want to say your name wrong. Tried some Paula's Choice recently, and I think it improved my skin so much. Paula's Choice is not messing around. I love their BHA liquid exfoliant. That was one of the first products that I used that I actually saw made a difference in my skin. Now, the purging was not fun. My skin purged for like Oh, like six weeks. Like it was so long because I had a ton of congestion in my chin. Like I had really clogged pores in my chin. I had like little bumps all under my skin. So when I started using the Paula's Choice BHA, oh, I'm so glad I said your name right. So when I started using the Paula's Choice BHA, it pulled all of that congestion to the surface. And I was really going through it for a while, you guys. It was like not fun. But once I got through that purging period, Oh my gosh, what a world of difference. Like I sometimes will be looking on my phone at like old photos of myself and I see my chin and I'm like, wow, it's like night and day. I'm so much more, not even just that, like I still do get breakouts every once in a while. Absolutely I do, but I no longer have these like painful under the skin little like, like I would look up close in the mirror and you could like see like all of the little bumps under my skin. It's, it's made a world of difference. So I definitely recommend the Paula's Choice BHA. I recently, not recently, I guess it's been over a year now, but I ended up switching to the Naturium Susan Yara's skincare brand BHA. And I like that one a little bit better. I, I'd say I like them pretty much equally. This, the Naturium one is a little cheaper, which I like about it. But that one has like some added botanicals to it. I don't know. I feel like I reached a point after I'd been using the Paula's Choice BHA for like a year and a half. I felt like I hit a plateau where I was like no longer 
getting new results. I don't know. So I ended up switching to the Notorium one and I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, Kowleen, thank you for saying hello and good night. It's 1030 over there. Oh my gosh, good night. Get some, uh, get some sleep. Get some good sleep. I appreciate you showing up. You're so sweet. Oh my gosh, and Cammie's here. Hi, Cammie. How's it going? Cammie brings up a really good point that you can grow out of allergies and also get more allergies as you get older. Our bodies are crazy. Absolutely. You are so right. I mean, my skin was definitely more sensitive when I was younger. And then as I got older, it got less sensitive, I think. And my mom actually recently um, has been going to an allergist because she had like a cold for a really long time. And so they had her go to an allergist to make sure she didn't get any new allergies as she got older. And they actually found out that she had less allergies than she had when she was younger. Like she used to be allergic to a lot more and now she's not anymore. Same with my cat allergy. I used to be severely allergic to cats. Like my sister has always had cats growing up. And whenever I would go to her house, I would have to take a Claritin beforehand. And even then my eyes would get super, super itchy and watery. I'd be sneezing nonstop. I would feel horrible. And then as soon as I'd leave her house and go home, I would feel fine. So when we got Bert a couple of years ago, I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. Like we kind of, it was a very quick thing with us getting burnt. Um, and I was like, oh boy, I'm going to have to start taking Allegra every day. And I still do take Allegra every day, but he just doesn't bother my allergies. And I, I like to say it's because I love him so much that I just refused the allergy. I said, allergies be gone. I no longer am accepting cat allergies because bird is the love of my life. And I will love him despite my allergies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, Sarah saying that they shop Poshmark secondhand for skincare stuff. That's cool. That's good to know. I mean, I got nothing against that because sometimes people will use a skincare product like one time and just realize it's not for them. And you know, as long as they sanitize it or you sanitize it when you get it, power to you. I buy skincare stuff at TJ Maxx sometimes. I don't know how how kosher that is or anything, but sometimes TJ Maxx or Marshalls will have first aid beauty stuff. I like first aid beauty, but tell me why they're so pricey. I love that ultra repair moisturizer, but it's too dang expensive. I'm not buying it anymore. So I wait until I see it at Marshalls and I got a huge tub for like $14. And then I use that for like a year. So I'm all about getting your skincare at a discount. I'm really into, I know I mentioned it before, I'm really into Naturium right now because they have a really, it's a really good price range, I feel, for the quality that it is. Like I get that BHA liquid exfoliant for like $18 through Amazon. I recently got their hyaluronic acid serum, which I've been loving, and that was $15. So I really appreciate their price range for the quality that they're providing. Ooh, Dragon Ball says, what's everyone's thoughts on REM Beauty? I like the lipsticks, but I don't like the lip oils. The applicator is good, though, but bad, bad execution. It hinders the application. Ooh, that's interesting. I haven't used anything from REM Beauty yet, but I'm super curious. A friend of mine on Instagram was talking about their blush stick recently, and it looked really pretty. I'm very curious. I do kind of agree with you. Sorry, that's the train. I having I full disclaimer, I haven't tried anything from REM, but looking at some of their packaging, I feel like it's a little cheap looking for the price. I don't know. Like they have those lip glosses just in the squeezy tube and they were kind of expensive. I don't know. LT tried the lip stain marker from REM, um, but it was trash. Oh, that's such a bummer. REM has me confused. I was tempted to try their concealer because that got really good reviews when it came out. I'm pretty sure Robert Welsh liked that concealer a lot too, but I just felt like I had a lot of concealers. I don't like to have a million different face products. For me, when it comes to like color products, you know, like blush and eyeshadow and eyeliner and lipstick, I'm happy to have a wide range for my many, many moods. But when it comes to like concealer, in foundation, you know, maybe I want to have one foundation that's a little higher coverage than the other, but concealer, I'm kind of like, I know what I like and I don't need a million of them. So I really only have the NYX Bear With Me concealer and then the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind eraser for my 
pop of pink every once in a while. I also have these face pencils from Jones Road, but that's not really a concealer. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I have one from Thrive too that I got sent in PR that I do like, but I don't have a ton of concealers. Ooh, okay. LT says the REM concealer is good as a spot concealer, but it's heavy under the eyes. That's good to know. That is really good to know. Who Cami wants to know if I've tried the Naturium Dewy Skin Sunscreen. I haven't, but I want to. It looks so good. I gotta just bite the bullet and buy it. It's a little, it's a little expensive for sunscreen. I know I just talked about how Naturium is really reasonable prices, but like sunscreen, I go through quickly because I wear it every single day. And I think that one is like a standard size sunscreen, which like usually they're like 1.7 ounces. And I think it's like $22, which is a little pricey for me. My favorite sunscreen is from Pipette. It's the Pipette Baby Sunscreen. And I get a big like five ounce size for $10. And it's so dewy and beautiful. So I'm just like hesitant to do that. I'm, I'm probably going to try it though. I'll wait till I have, I have an Amazon Prime credit card. So I like earn points every month. So usually then I can like spend those points on Amazon. So I'll probably wait to like my points add up a little bit and then I'll buy it through Amazon because Naturium is available through Amazon. The reason I shop it through there is because they have an official store on Amazon. So like they're the ones putting it on Amazon and I get free shipping. So and they're not available at Ulta or anything yet. So that's kind of like the only way I can buy them for a reasonable price. And I haven't tried, Cami also asked if I've tried the new Glisten mascaras, the colorful ones. I haven't tried them yet. I'm not positive if I'm getting them in PR. Um, but if I don't, I'm going to buy some anyways, because they look so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about them. Um, Oh, and then LT says that they remember Sarah Jill makeup saying the green highlight had an awful cast from the REM. Yeah, I remember seeing people doing reviews of the REM highlighters and they they looked kind of chalky. They looked like they'd be pretty eyeshadows. I'm not even really like into powder highlight all that much anymore. I, I really like my Kaleidos highlighters, the multi-chrome ones, because those are like really fun. And I like using my Glisten Shape Shifter palette as face highlighters. Like I like a colorful highlighter or like no highlighter at all. I'm very all or nothing with the highlighters. But those REM colorful highlighters definitely look chalky and they're frankly too expensive for me to take a risk on. You know, sometimes I feel like a drugstore brand comes out with a new product that looks like oh, maybe it could go either way. I'll take a chance on it. But when like brands are launching funky products for over $20, I'm like, I'm going to need a guarantee that that's going to look good because I know you can return things through like Ulta, but I don't know. I don't live super close to an Ulta. And by I don't live super close to an Ulta, I mean, there's one on the Upper East Side. <sighs> I don't want to go all the way up there to the Upper East Side. There's only like a one Ulta in all of New York City. That's not true. There's one in, there's like some in Queens, but okay. I'm going to go let my boyfriend in. I think that's him. Hi, you hear my doorbell ring? Just got to go let him in real quick. Don't mind me. I'll put you guys here. I'll put you here so you can look at my bird portraits. Enjoy those. I'm just showing them the bird pictures. <laughs> and I'm back. You want to say hi real quick? Hi. Howdy. <laughs> All right, back to the bedroom. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let me catch up on these messages. Have a good day, Dragon Ball. Thank you for joining me. Oh my gosh, the sun is shifting. Angelica likes the REM concealer, lipstick, and oil, but you think you need to work a little bit to get the right results. That is interesting. That is interesting. I, I don't mind getting to know a product and figuring out the right way to use it, but I also feel like brands should do a better job at educating people when there's a learning curve with the product, you know? But, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised. I thought REM would be a little more affordable. I don't know. 
maybe maybe that was just wishful thinking. I don't know. I wish all makeup was on the more affordable side. You know, like, you know, celebrity makeup brands. I really appreciate that Halsey with About Face and the other brand that they have, AF94. Like, they kept it at a very, AF94 is even more affordable, but About Face, like, they dropped their prices last year, and I just appreciate them keeping it at a nice, you know, mid-range price point, like, very, like, you know, Tower 28 type of price point. I appreciate Tower 28 for that, too. Um, Just some of these brands, I'm like, I know you're marking up these prices. What are you doing? And, like, you know, I'll hold off, and I'll buy them on sale, but there's just, there's so many good affordable brands <laughs> don't charge wild prices for their things. Like I like all the stuff that I've tried from Jones Road. They put me on their PR list recently, which is amazing. And I'm so happy to be here, but I really can't justify their prices. Like at least those blushes that they have, like I did a, a mini review of their new um, Miracle Bomb in the shade Miami on my Instagram the other day. And it's a gorgeous peachy shade. And I will say you get a ton of product, but still $38, nothing to shake a stick at. That's a lot of money. So hopefully they do some sales and stuff in the future. But I just, I don't understand the justification for these high prices. You know, it's wild. Yes, About Face is available in some Ulta locations now, too, which is so exciting because you can use your Ulta points. That's why I used Ulta points recently. I shopped at their, um, they did that big foundation sale a couple weeks ago. They did 50% off all their foundations. That's when I bought the LA Girl Tinted Foundation, which was $8, but I got it for $4. Already a good deal, but then I got it for even less. And then I used my Ulta points, too, so I got it for free, which is sweet, but Love to use those Ulta points. They're also always sending me catalogs in the mail that have coupons in the back. Like sometimes they'll just be like $10 if you spend $40, which how easy is it to spend $40 at Ulta? So I feel like I'm always getting a deal at Ulta. Although one thing I want from Ulta is they always send perfume samples in those catalogs, but they're always really floral scents. And I demand that they send me a vanilla scent in the perfume samples because I want to start buying more perfumes, but I really don't like floral scents. <laughs> yes, LA Girl is so underrated. I love their neon eyeliners too. I have a couple of those. I haven't pulled them out in a while because I can't find my pencil sharpener. I need to sharpen them, <laughs> but I really like their neon eyeliners a lot. Yes, and Natasha Denona and Dior are at Ulta now too, which is so exciting. I always am curious about stuff from Natasha Denona. So definitely excited that she's at Ulta now so I can save up some points, maybe buy something that way. We love Ulta in this house. I rarely ever buy anything from Sephora. The only thing I need to go over to Ulta is I think Rare Beauty is still only at Sephora and I really like Rare Beauty. So we could just get them over there then that would be great. Fenty's at Ulta now too, right? So all of these brands are making their way over, especially the celebrity brands are making their way over to Ulta. So I hope they do that too. Is House Labs at Ulta? Are they at Sephora? I gotta look that up because House Labs is one that I've been interested in trying. Is it at Sephora? Yeah, House Labs is at Sephora. Are they at Ulta too though? No. Just Sephora. That's a bummer. They're pricey too. I really want to try that trichrome. That's not what it's called. You know, the new foundation from House Labs. I really want to try because I hear nothing but good things. I'm pretty sure Robert Walsh really liked that one too. But um, it's $45. And I have no idea how to choose my shade. I found their shade finder to be really confusing. And I also saw a lot of people say that they bought the wrong shade the first time. And whereas like, you know, I have to order online. I might have to actually drag my butt into a Sephora to try to do some swatches of the House Labs foundation. Because I do want to try it. We have a million Sephoras here in New York. So I can definitely drag myself to Sephora. Ooh, AC says that Rare and House have a contract with Sephora until it's up. Elta is up for grabs. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Hopefully it's not too long of a contract. Maybe at like the end of 2023 or something because that would be great. I love a lot of Rare Beauty stuff. I just, the little computer keeps sliding. Um, I love the Rare Beauty blushes a lot. I really liked the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Foundation. There's some other things I want to try from Rare Beauty, like their Tinted Moisturizer, but I don't like that they're only at Sephora. 
Oh, okay. AC says it's usually five years. That's what Fenty was. Wow. Five years. That is a long commitment to one retailer. But, you know, I guess it makes sense. I only recently found out that you have to pay. I mean, I I just never thought about this before, but um, someone was the CEO of Alamar Cosmetics was talking about how they're only available online right now. And people are always saying, why don't you go to Ulta? Why don't you go to Sephora? And she was saying that it costs money to be, you have to pay to be featured in one of those stores. Like it's, they don't just invite you to be in the store and let you sell stuff through them. Like you have to like pay for that spot there. So it's just really hard for smaller brands like that to afford that. So I get it. I get, I'm sure, you know, that probably a pricey contract they got in on there, but yeah, I would love to see Rare Beauty come to Ulta. That'd be great. Okay, guys, I can't believe it's already been 50 minutes. I've been having so much fun chatting with you. I appreciate you all being here so much. As you saw, my boyfriend just got home from work. So I think I'm going to hop off so we can go hang out, chat, catch up on our day. But I've been having so much fun chatting with you. I ask kindly, if you don't mind, give me just a little thumbs up on this video before you head out. Oh my gosh, Puzzleton, you've only been doing makeup for six months, so you haven't been to a brick and mortar for makeup yet. It's a little intimidating. Oh my gosh, don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated. It's so much fun to go into the stores, you know? Even, you know, I hear sometimes people have bad experiences with the employees, but I feel like that is so rare. Every time I've been into a Sephora or Ulta, most of the time, people are nothing but nice. And if you ever aren't sure what you're looking for, you know, you can always Google stuff while you're in the store too. Um, but most of the time people are really, really sweet and they want to help you find what you're looking for. So definitely don't feel intimidated to go into one. It'll be really fun. I thank you guys all so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your night. This has been so much fun. You've been a great audience <laughs> wrapping up my concert venue. Thanks so much for being here. We'll do another live stream soon. This has been really fun. Have a great weekend. Bye.